Hey guys, it's System here, and uh, this is the start of Systematic Sunday, and welcome. <laughs> so, um, I found this game when I was trying to get a whole bunch of perks and attachments for all my guns, and um, it's a pretty, it's a pretty weird setup. More or less because of the fact I'm using Sitrep, and that's not a very used perk, so. That's why I find this interesting. And uh, the red dot on the AK-47 isn't the best, but I had to get holographic because I have to allow you guys to pick that, so this uh, this came out of it. And it was a pretty good match. Um, drop shots for the win. <laughs> I'm using sleight of hand and stopping power as well, just an add-on, and I guess there was somebody who wasn't playing. and. Uh, I think this part was actually pretty intense, because um, I get stuck in this little corner area soon enough. So um, yeah, not that corner, this one, and people are just popping around, and I'm already on my seven kill streak, and I go to call it in, and we're all good. So we wait here for a bit because you see the top left hand corner which is a scrambler pro so somebody should be here soon and ta-da there they are and we're gonna oh apparently um there was somebody in this match who was working on well let's say most likely cold-blooded pro because um most of my air support gets shot down and I actually don't get a lot of air support kills uh, I think maybe three or four kills actually comes from air support. So, you know, what can you do except try and have an amazing match anyways? They weren't the best players in the world, so that did help. But, like, that guy was obviously sniping, so a drop shot would destroy him. And look, my Pavlo is already down. I just called it in and stuff. It was actually getting annoying. I played in this lobby for a really long time. And to have my air support just shot down constantly. Sometimes it get it bothers me. Just because I could have had I guess if I got some extra kills from my air support, I probably could have had a much better game. You'll notice I think all of my deaths happen when I'm either reloading or switching my gun. If you remember the first one I was switching out to my I don't know what I'm using as my secondary, I believe it's the PP two thousand. But anyways, when I was switching that out, somebody um, decided to shoot me, and they decided to kill me. And this guy was trying to work on his FMJ or something, because <laughs> he saw me and then decided to shoot through the wall to see if he'd kill me. I don't know. That's um, it's interesting. So, um, anytime I play Free For All, I generally like to take control of a certain area. Um, I don't always like to put on claymores and stuff and basically use claymores and stuff like that to defend all my areas so what you'll notice in some of my videos is I'll have a certain area but I will run around in circles because if I constantly moving it's easier for me to patrol the area and it's a lot easier for me to um, kill people because if I'm just moving quickly I have as I've said before I I believe I have pretty good reflexes, so if I'm able to use Sleight of Hand Pro to my advantage and pick someone up before they can get me, and uh, that was a sad death on my behalf, that was definitely all my bad. But anyways, um, if I can get people before they get me like that, then um, it works because, you know, killing people first generally gets you more kills than them statistically proven oh maybe I didn't reload on that one I got a commando but um that's that's the end of those deaths they're all completed so let's go back to this shenanigans that we like to call randomness the one thing I found um when I was fixing up all these perks and stuff like that and all these sites um it's really hard to play without ninja pro because listening to my footsteps and not being able to know if my footsteps are actually someone else's footsteps 
it um it sometimes can get a little weird and I'll do like a 360 and check my back when there's actually nobody there I just hear my own footsteps right now I'm just trying to uh, get two more kills just so I can finish this off with a a nice ki kill death which is 30 and 3 I would I would say 30 and 3 is a really good match for this setup like yeah the AK-47 is a good gun but using sit rep and sleight of hand um, and people shooting down my air support I well not people person I would definitely say this was um, a good match so I let me know what you guys think if you like the match and um, after this I'll give you what gun I'm going to use in the next video and uh, thank you for watching I hope you enjoy systematic Sunday episode uno bye so this is the next class I will be using in Systematic Sunday and you guys can thank YouTube for it and he wanted me to use the Mini Uzi with ACOG scope the AA-12, I'm going to use no attachments because I don't have a silencer a Marathon Pro, Lightweight, and Ninja Pro so if you guys want to make a class then just put it in the comments I um, forgot to update the little template before um, my last video so now in the video there will be a selection for equipment and what type of special grenade you want so um, yeah it's gonna be a lot easier and by the way I can't pick everyone's setup obviously I can only pick one per week so if you guys really liked your setup from last week you can just copy and paste into this one and I might be able to choose it this week because I did like more than one but um YouTube kind of made a little subtle comment at the bottom, as you guys may notice by now. So I had to uh, take them up on that offer. So I'll uh, see you guys next Sunday, and probably earlier. So bye.